Blessed everyone and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we are going to learn how to configure either channel using LSEP protocol, link aggregation control protocol. Okay. So in the previous video, we learned how to configure either channel using PAGP port aggregation protocol which is cisco proprietary is for you cisco devices but for link aggregation control protocol it's for it's a standard protocol it can be used by any product okay all right so before doing that let us uh let us be aware that we're in day seven also because uh we did for pgp now we're doing for lscp okay all right so and after that i'll open our notepad as our normal culture where i highlight the steps through which you're going to follow to achieve the objective right so lsp is the channel configuration the steps draw the necessary topology decorate and comment guys i've done that you can see i have how many switches i have one two three four five switches and I've done the comments as you can see. The protocol is a LSP channel group number between the switches and the mod. Okay, so for uh, LSP, let me open just uh, um, then PPT so that you can learn something about LSP. You can see it's a standard IEEE is a standard uh, protocol. Okay, and uh, it has three modes. We can uh, four modes. I mean on active passive and off so we normally use active and passive so when one side is passive the other side should be active when one side is active the other, the other side should be uh, active or passive but not passive passive okay so you see this small table active active if this one side is active active it will form active passive it will form Passive active, it will form, but not passive passive, right? All right, and this sample way of configuring LSP. So let's go back to our packet tracer and do the configuration. So here in step two, it says for the to identify trunk links and configure LSP group channel group number and mode. Guys, in this topology, we start from channel group number one. We start with this switch. So any link between the switches is should be trunk all right and before doing that make sure that this switch here is 3650 switch 36 not 35 there are two similar layer three switches here okay so make sure that this is the this is 3650 24 port switch okay not 3550 right okay all right then after that one just go to that switch and turn it on remember the power adapter has not been connected so just connect it and with the time this will turn green green so let's uh, start our journey of configuring lacp protocol on this topology so let's start with channel group number one so these three links one two three on, on this switch one and switch two should be a uh, trunk okay so as here says identify trunk links configure lsp channel group number and mode so the three of them so let me just identify them uh it's fa3 fa2 and fa1 so you just go to this switch and you come to cli enable config t so interface range because they are three interfaces and we want to configure same parameters fa1 slash 3 i mean fa 0 slash 1 to 3 okay then we assign channel group here assign channel channel group number and mode and note here both sides should have the same channel group numbers mode can only be active active or active i mean active passive or active active but not passive passive very important okay so let's uh, uh, create the channel group we just say we are in step two yes we are in step two how do we create channel group we just say channel uh, group group one okay group one because 
it's indicated here channel group one okay and mode to be mode to be mode to be let's let's make it active and the other side to be passive or active okay and it end okay exit we finish on this switch first before we can go to the other switch then the other step tells us that enter the port channel number created and configure it as trunk so we've created port cha a channel group number one so it forms a port channel interface port channel one so just say interface port uh, channel one okay then switch port mode to be trunk okay exit and we just done do right if you just say do show either channel you see it's group one three ports are here and the mode is pro protocol i mean is lacp okay all right so let's go to this switch and configure this one to be channel group number one and mode to be passive because this head was active okay all right so it's one um six that's six five and four so four to six and you go config t so interface range fa0 slash four to six okay uh we say channel channel uh group group one mode to be mode can be active or passive because this side was active so active active will form active passive will form but not passive passive okay so let's make it passive because the other side was active okay exit and now we, we enter we enter port channel one okay we've bundled the three interfaces into a logical channel which is called port channel interface port channel one okay and we hit enter and what do we say switch port mode mode to be trunk and we hit enter exit and we are done configuring either channel between switch one and switch two so let's do between switch two and much less switch one okay all right so i'll click on switch two and configure for group two mode to be active passive okay and uh, now these interfaces are uh you see this is a fa3 fa2 i think it's a from fa1 to i believe it's from fa1 to fa3 yes so i just enter interface range fa one two three okay you just say channel group two be directed by the comments okay be directed by the comments mode to be uh let's make this set to be passive okay or active no problem so that the other side we make it active or passive okay all right so we exit and enter that logical interface which is interface port channel 2 the logical interface that you've created by bundling fa1 2 and 3 okay so interface port channel you can also see it creating port channel interface port channel 2 okay all right so let's enter this interface and make it to be trunk so we just say switch port mode mode to be trunk and we hit enter exit and do right so if you say do show either channel you will see we have group one and group two group one takes three ports lacp same as group two okay all right so let's go to this much less each one and configure either channel on the three interfaces okay all right so uh, the interfaces are uh, gigo one to gigo gig one or three okay so um just say no enable config t and now interface range gig one slash zero slash one two three okay all right then 
we make them to be channel group 2 because they are connecting to switch 2 okay just say channel channel group group 2 mod to be mod to be this side was uh let me confirm this side was uh this side was active so let's make that side active or passive because active active will form so make let's make it passive okay exit then we enter the port this port channel number two okay so we just say interface port channel number two switch port mode switch port uh, switch port mode to be trunk and you hit enter exit then we proceed to configure channel group number three between much layer switch one and switch three so uh this interface th there are three interfaces although they seems like uh they seem like uh two interfaces although but there are three interfaces so this is from f uh f4 to um, let me confirm that from this side yes and this one is uh f5 so from four to five so we just say interface gig one zero slash four to five to six I mean okay right interface range sorry interface range that one okay then we say channel now channel group number three okay but let's switch one and switch three so just say channel group number three mod to be i want the mod to be um let's say active okay and you hit enter exit then we, we go to port channel uh num interface port channel number three and configure it as trunk okay so interface port channel number three we just say switch port mode mode to be trunk and we are done do right and do show either channel oh do show either channel yes so you see we had group 2 and group 3 both using three interfaces and lscp you see this switch here it it was in group 2 and group 3 so let's uh you can see all of them are formed either channel all of the interfaces are in forwarding state okay so let's go to this uh switch and configure these three as uh port channel group number three okay if you want to three so when i go to this switch enable uh config t interface range fa0 slash one two three channel 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 uh group number three okay you'll be directed by the comment that we written that we've written here then mod to be mod to be passive because the other side was uh was active okay all right so exit now if you come here i just say interface interface just a little bit uh yes we want to interface port channel number three interface uh, interface port channel number three we put mod mod to be trunk exit okay now let's create uh, either channel between this switch and this switch finally and now i wanted to make it to be active active because we've been making them active passive all along so let's make this to be active active okay all right so i'll go to the interfaces are uh, fa1 fa6 fa4 and 5 yes so from 4 to 6 so interface range fa0 slash 4 to 6 we just say channel 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 group uh four now this one okay four mode to be active okay exit then interface port channel four okay switch port mode mode to be trunk exit and if you can just say uh do right then 
do show either channel. You see, we had group three and group four on switch three. Okay, all right. Using LACP. Now, finally, let's go to this switch here and configure either channel to form between switch three and switch four. So this interface is an FA1 to FA3, I believe. I'm always consistent on the interfaces. Okay. All right. So we just say enable config key. Uh, then interface range FA0 slash uh, 1 to 3. Then we say channel group. Channel channel group uh, 4 mode to be. Uh, I want it to be active active this side was active I want this side to be active because we said active active forms active passive forms passive active forms but not passive passive okay mod to be active and hit enter okay exit then we go to interface port channel channel of 4 switch port mode mode to be trunk and to hit enter exit and do it so let's give it some time the either channel will be formed between switch four and switch three okay all right okay now as you can see they are formed either channel between them right so uh, basically i go back to our google uh, uh spaceship spreadsheet i mean and mark uh, that as done okay so uh, tomorrow we go to the next topic okay all right so thank you so much guys I believe this video has really helped you now to configure either channel using LACP and know how to alternate the modes and the channel group numbers. Okay, so bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, share with friends, and drop a comment below. Thank you so much and bye.